everyone! Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for taking the time to come and click on this video. It means a lot to me and I'm so happy to be able to share with you here. I'm already up to week 11 of my pregnancy and if you want to find out about my experience of what it's been like from the beginning up until now, then this video is for you. In case you don't know me, my name is Karina Jang. I'm an artist and singer in Hong Kong and this video will be the first in a series which I'm really excited about because it's my first pregnancy <laughs> and I'm excited because it's going to be a series just about my experience, the joys, the struggles, yeah, the problems and what I'm learning, <laughs> what I don't know yet and how I learn it. And I just want to share that with all of you guys because I've actually been watching some other channels of other ladies that have shared their experiences and it's really helped me. So I want to share mine and I hope that it will be helpful and interesting to some others as well. So that's what this series is going to be about. And if you are new here, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of the videos. And if you do like this video and anything you find is helpful or interesting, remember to give me a, a thumbs up because that really helps. I would love also to be able to communicate with you. So please leave some messages in the comments below, whether it's questions or information, thing that you can teach me and help me as I'm on this journey. I'd love to hear from you guys. So let's get started. But before I share, I just want to say that I'm not a doctor or a nurse or have any medical qualifications. And every woman's body is different. Every baby's needs might be slightly different. So make sure, talk to your doctor. Or if you have a Chinese doctor, also talk to your Chinese doctor. And make sure that you're taking the right steps for you and your baby. But I want to be able to share here my experiences, what I'm learning, what I've found that's helpful for me. And maybe there'll be some ideas and things that you want to pick up on. Also, because I live in Hong Kong, I think it's really cool that I have both Western and Chinese input in how to take care of a pregnant woman's body and help my baby to grow healthy. And my husband's Chinese. I have a lot of Hong Kong Chinese friends and they're teaching me a lot. And I also have a Chinese doctor. So I'm quite excited to be able to share both Chinese and Western things that I'm learning about how to take care of my pregnant body. Another thing I'm really excited about is that this is going to be kind of like a, a diary for me to be able to, to share my experiences and feelings and I hope that when my child grows up and is a bit older that I can share these videos and that they can kind of experience the first few months of me getting to know them and they can experience that with me too. So actually before baby arrived <laughs> Eddie and I, we've been open to having a child for a year actually and during that period of time I was doing a few things to help myself be able to become pregnant. Uh, one of those things was to sleep more. I'm somebody who really loves my work and I always have so many things on my to-do list that I want to do and I don't get enough sleep. I started to make an effort to really sleep more because I needed to get a healthier body and I cut things out of my schedule, you know, good things, but I just couldn't do everything and make time for rest. And I think really that at any point in my life, that should be the way it is really because I mean, yeah, my health is more important than getting a lot of things done. So I'm, I'm glad that it kind of pushed me to make my health a priority. Another thing that I did was to go and see a Chinese doctor regularly to help my body because the Chinese doctors, they really, I really like the way that they help you to get your body back into good shape and good condition. And I started taking Chinese medicine pretty much every day really. Even though it tastes bad, oh, but it's good for you. So. <laughs> and actually there's other benefits that I got like my skin got better, became more alert and I, I think even my emotions became calmer during that time. So those were all like bonuses. And also in this period before I uh, was pregnant, um, there's a few other, few other things as well that I was doing. Uh, one of my friends told me I need to be prepared to try and help stop my stomach having stretch marks. 
and I asked her what I can do and she said that what she did is even before she was pregnant she started uh, using stretch mark uh, massage lotion because they're safe for pregnant women as well and I've been doing that for over a year now and I'm keeping on doing that so I hope that it helps because uh, after the baby's born I hope to be able to recover and have a lovely waistline again so I hope that'll help. Just this year after Eddie's birthday at the beginning of March and before my birthday at the beginning of April it was in between our birthdays that we found out that I was pregnant. It was like a, a birthday gift for both of us from God which is really sweet. When I found out you know I just saw wow well, I'm pregnant and Eddie and I were both kind of like shocked excited but surprised and it was kind of like hard to comprehend really I'm really pregnant there's really a person inside me now and it's like wow it was like so hard to take in you know we're, we're parents now wow it, it took a while to really sink in and suddenly all these questions kind of like started flooding into my mind like are there some foods that I should eat or not eat and what about like beauty care products and stuff that I use are, is it okay to use them all and how about cleaning products that I use at home and and home yeah what are we gonna do about the house to make it more child friendly and you know all these questions kept coming into my mind and what about the medical procedures that I need to take you know how, how often do I need to go see a doctor and all these things started coming into my mind and there's so much that I needed to learn and I still need to learn so the first thing that we did of course was to go see our Chinese doctor and our Western doctor and when we went to the Chinese doctor she straight away put me on medicine that was especially for pregnant women to help pregnant women to be able to have a stable pregnancy especially through the first few months which is really important and also gave me medicine that would help me have a better sleep at night as well as medicine that would help to reduce the feeling of nausea because as I'm sure a lot of you know and have heard that a lot of pregnant ladies have morning sickness so she put that in my medicine as well so I started to have that and she also taught me a lot about other things that I should eat, shouldn't eat, should do, shouldn't do and I'll share more of that later but after that we went and we did our first ultrasound so that was really exciting Woohoo! yes this is seven weeks old our baby's not even one centimeter so tiny but it was so special wow it's like became even more real in our minds we knew it's real but it helped it to sink in that we're parents now and this is our baby and then we heard the heartbeat together that was really amazing to be there together and hear the heartbeat so i'd really encourage you as a couple when you go to have these ultras, uh, ultrasounds to go together i think it's a really special moment yeah we don't know yet if if it's a boy or a girl <laughs> but we know that our baby is there and it became a real connection for us with our baby. What were some of the things that I stopped doing? Well, my uh, Chinese doctor, she gave me a lot of good recommendations. Like one thing is to stop wearing like really tight uh, pants and, and really tight uh, leggings that are tight around the waist. And yeah, it's, it actually started to feel a lot more comfortable not to have it that tight because the baby's growing. I uh, just felt more comfortable to have something loose. And another thing that she told me is that I can't have coffee. No, because of the caffeine. I love my coffee. I always have at least one coffee a day. But because the baby's more important than my coffee, much more important. So yeah, I had to go off coffee. You know, every so often, maybe a little taste of it here and there, but yeah, no more regular coffees every day. And wine or any alcohol, totally stop. No amount of alcohol um, is said to be safe for pregnant women. So I've never been a heavy drinker like with friends and they meet and they have like some wine. I have half a glass, but no, not even a little bit of wine. Totally stop. Stop having any raw fish like sushi and stuff or rare meats, you know, have it all well done. And all my vegetables also cooked, no raw vegetables. And also I stopped carrying heavy things. If there's like really heavy things I had to carry, then I call Eddie to come help me, <laughs> which is great. So there are many different symptoms that uh, a lot of ladies have when they're pregnant and sometimes they can be really opposite. Like some can be really hungry and some be not hungry at all. For me, um, I got more hungry and I also want to eat more sweets. Uh, but it's not good to have a lot of sugar. It's not good for your health and it'll make you fat. So. Yeah, 
kind of have to keep that one at bay. Um, I, I have to go to the toilet more often too. And I'm pretty lucky that at, at least up until now, I haven't actually thrown up, I haven't actually vomited, but I felt nauseated. There's a few things I found really helped me. Some is having those Chinese uh, preserved fruits that are kind of sweet and sour. The, the sour flavor really helped me. Um, also, I found that apple cider vinegar in water, I really love having that, especially when I feel a little bit nauseated. And I bought also tomato juice and tomato soup. And I had one day where I had the whole bottle, I mean. <laughs> Uh, and it kind of takes away that nauseated feeling for me. Yeah, with this soup, you know, just be careful and look at the labels. Try and get stuff with things that you understand that's what's in there, like not too many of those preservatives and all the other additives and stuff. And also try and keep away from ones that add syrup and sugar. So I found a couple that were pretty natural, had none of that extra stuff in, so that would be more healthy. And also I found that if I eat a little bit more regularly um, and don't let myself get hungry, I don't get nauseated that easy. It seems like when I'm getting really hungry, then the nauseated feeling comes back. There was even a few nights when I woke up like really early in the morning uh, to go to the toilet and I started to feel hungry. My, started, my stomach started to growl and I thought it's way too early to eat so I went back to bed. But then it started me into feeling a bit nauseated and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I had to get up and eat a little bit. And as soon as I eaten and went back to bed, I went to sleep. So <laughs> yeah, I just found that I have to eat a little bit more regularly, but then try and keep my portions down so I don't put on a lot of weight. And another thing was that I became, for me, I became really, really tired. Like really tired. I had one day where I pretty much slept the whole day. Other days, maybe I sleep like half the day. Some days I'm, I'm fine, have a lot more energy. But in general, yeah, I have to sleep more hours. Yeah, my husband Eddie's been really good. Help me. You know, husbands are important at this time. <laughs> really important. Doing a lot more stuff around the house that I just can't get done because I have to sleep so much. So thank you Eddie for helping me out. Yeah, and also I stopped doing things that were like really a lot more strenuous. Well, I suppose in the past I didn't think they were like really strenuous, but I found that I got out of breath and tired a lot more easy. So even like going out shopping for stuff, I couldn't go out for many hours, like walking around looking for stuff, you know, just a few hours and I'm like really tired. So I had to keep my exercise not so strenuous and not so long. Another thing is I found that these two girls here, they were very sore. I had to like wear bras that are a little bit looser with not quite so hard wire at the bottom. You know, do some stretching, you know, stretch out your chest muscles here. And also your hubby can help with a little massage. Mm, that's help. And also, I have already come out like with pimples and stuff on my arms. It's really weird. I don't know, don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a little bit better now. But yeah, so my Chinese doctor has given me some Chinese medicine cream and, and kind of lotion stuff for the acne to help me out. So that's really great. Also, I found that if I use the muscles down here too much when I sneeze, it got really sore. Like it really hurt. So I have to try and use my breath from up in my chest a bit more. <laughs> so if I can remember in that instant of sneezing, I try to use my breath and muscles up here more than down here. And so it doesn't hurt so much. So that's kind of a strange and interesting feeling that I had. Overall, just the whole experience up to now, it's been very new, amazing really, and also really touching. I mean, it's exciting to tell family, you know, your family's really excited for you, and slowly telling our close friends first, you know, about the baby, and, and some of those that live nearby, you know, one girl, she's really sweet, and she made some Chinese soup for me, because I know those that Chinese soup is really good for you when you're pregnant, so I need to learn how to make it. So it's just been, yeah, really heartwarming, and different people helping me, giving me advice, yeah, it's just an amazing experience and a whole new life growing inside of my stomach. It's just like amazing. But I'm really looking forward to keeping on sharing different things I learn, different things I experience. And yeah, please leave me comments, give me your advice, anything you want to ask me or share with me. I really appreciate that. So yeah, please leave that in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to seeing 
and sharing with you this whole journey. So thank you so much for staying right until the end and sharing with me. So I'm looking forward to sharing more with you next time. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.